Hello everyone, Ultima Mandoid here. So I got sent a, uh, I guess you could call it a mystery gift from um, the Dark Flame Wolf, who is the maker of the Mega Man fan game Re uh, Revenge of the Fallen. And it's two packages. Apparently they go together. So I was specifically requested to do an unboxing video. So we'll start with the smaller package first. I was not told what order to open them in, so I will just open the small one first. I think I have an idea of what this could possibly be. Um, I do not have a pair of scissors handy, so I guess I will use nail clippers because they are sharp and point. Uh, they are sharp and they are grabby. I will admit, this is a uh, difficult package to open. Plus, it has a nail file so I can stab things. If I need to. So, let's find out what's in the small package. Okay, now it's finally tearing. There we go. I don't need the pointy edge anymore. Yay! So, let's do this. <clears throat> There's a board. I have boards. Okay, it is empty. There's nothing inside. Um all right, let's take the boards off. Okay, yeah, it's just packaging. It's what I thought it was. It's um, stuff for the Mega Man Battle Network card game. It's a fan-made product uh, made by the made by the Dark Flame Wolf. Also, a uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl Triple Triad book. Let's see. Uh, it's kind of like magic, almost is what it looks like. I mean, like, one card. Like, kind of looks like a Magic the Gathering card. Pretty cool. Um, and it's got... Oh my god, this is literally freaking Triple Triad from Final Fantasy VIII. Like, I swear, it's literally what it looks like. Yeah, that is what it is. That's pretty freaking cool. Um, second page here. It has the layout. I don't know how well you can... I mean, there we go. If I tilt it back a little bit, you can get it in the light. But it is literally the Final Fantasy VIII freaking triple triad system. That's so cool. I'm going to have to look at this a little bit more in depth. Um, maybe this isn't what I thought it was. Or, or more than what I thought it was. So let me get the... Let me show off the... Uh, Battle Network card game rule book here. Um, again, I believe this is made by the Dark Flame Wolf. So um, you can pick some up. Uh, the cost of it only pays for the materials. There's no profit made. So um, pretty much the way that I understand that the card game works is it works just like the Battle Network games. You have like a nine panel grid and you can put your cards on this panel grid and you have like megabytes uh, which is pretty much like your resource and each card costs uh, a megabyte. Uh, let's see, yeah. It says goal of the game. Each player starts off with a deck of 60 specifically chosen cards with a mixture of net navvies, programs, upgrades, batch files, and a healthy smattering of data memory. Data memory is like uh, lands or energy if you play Pokemon the card game. Um, each player also starts off with a game board with a 3x3 three three playing space with which to put net navy cards. Finally, each player has 10 HP or health points that the opposing player must whittle down with program attacks, batch file attacks, or even attacks from the net navvies themselves. The game is lost if either player has A, lost all 10 of their HP, or B, has no more cards left to draw from their draw stack. So, pretty much, you know, I mean, it's, I read, um, I got to read the rules 
when it was being constructed. I thought it was pretty awesome. And it has a list of cards on here as well. Uh, yeah. So it's it's got like shotgun, M cannon. Whoa. Hello. Frame rate drop. Um, it's got cannon, high cannon, M cannon, three three way. Uh, it's got. Yeah, here's your RAM cards. Instead of, uh, like, HP up, um, let me see if I can, yeah, instead of HP up, you get, uh, the RAM cards, so you can add additional RAM, because every card requires a certain amount of RAM, or, uh, megabytes to play, so, uh, I think it's got, uh, yeah, cause it, like, here's some of the Net Navy cards, it's got Needleman, uh, Fireman, Gutsman, Iceman, Brightman, they're all on this page. So I'm going to try and get it in the light again here. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, trying to get my fingers out of the way. Now there's too much light. Anyways, you can see where it says Fireman and Needleman, Iceman, Brightman. Yeah, there we go. A little bit better. So that's the rule book. Which makes me wonder what's in the bigger package. Probably the cards. Because, uh, I mean, I got sent the rule book. So. Let's see. Come on. Open. I could have grabbed my knife. I mean, it is in the drawer next to me. But, uh, nope, lazy. This was also closer. Also, that first package actually has a sticker that says, Do not bend. Ow. There we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's still more tape. There we go. Now it should open. Let's put that over there. And inside we have... Holy crap, that is a lot of cards. Um... It's got that nice, like... That nice, uh, like, packaging smell. So we have all the... Wow, those are tiny cards. They are itty bitty. Those are tiny. Like, for comparison, this is my hand. Okay? They are about the size of my palm. I can just, I can just sort of... Sit them right there. Oh, well, I can almost. They, it's a little, there we go. And just kind of set it right there on my thumb. They are tiny. That's a lot of cards, though. Uh, there's more cards. So, yeah, and that's the artwork on them. Like you can see, let me try and tilt it back up into the light here. Yeah, so that's like a, it's a cannon card. So, I'm not going to open the wrapping on this just yet, um, but we also have the uh, Smash Brothers Brawl Triple Triad cards, and those are about standard size uh, for comparison. So, there's a cheap, cheap. This is gonna be this like this is all cool like I don't I might have lost her words of course I've never been one to have words to say when when something good happens so I've never been good at it uh, there's something else in this box um, these I am going to open because I have no idea what they are I think they are playing mats. That's what I'm going to guess. I'm going to open one of the... Oh, 
it's got a tear in the plastic, so I can just use that. I think these are the mats, the, the playing mats, so... Open, please. I want to be careful with this. Alright, and yeah, sure enough, that's the uh, Battle Network game board. That's pretty freaking cool. Um, it's got a base.exe on one side and has Mega Man.exe on the other. That's pretty neat. I like that. And of course, with the card size, they fit uh, perfectly right on there. That's neat. I like that. I wonder if the other one has the same character design. Now I have to open it and find out. I have to be... Okay. That should be... I have... Some... I have tape sticky all over these nail files. I will have to clean them later. I'm looking to see if there was any holes in the plastic I could take advantage of, but there aren't. So we're just gonna carefully. There we go. That should be good enough. Let's see if the other one has the same design. I'm kind of curious now. I wasn't going to open some of this stuff yet, but I'm going to now. Uh, the other one... Yeah, it's the same board. So it's the same design. I wasn't sure. But it's still pretty cool, though. I like that. Now, I'm going to guess... This is a much bigger board. Um... Again, I'm going to be careful here. Wow, that was the neatest, the neatest opening I have ever done. I mean, it just straight across. So good. I'm so good at this. Okay. Now I got to be careful. I don't want to mess it up here. Okay, so this one, yep, this is the triple triad board. Hang on. Let me carefully. Okay. That's the triple triad board. The Smash Brothers Brawl triple triad board. Let me shine it up to the light here. Come on, stop. Stop. There we go. It only does it when it gets really bright. I don't know why. Come on. Stop. Thank you. Anyways, that's the Smash Brothers uh, Triple Triad. It's got where you can store your cards. I don't know why my camera is being a bitch. So, I think it's pretty neat. I'm definitely going to have a lot of fun with that. Um, and it folds up for convenient storage. So. And it just folds, yeah, folds open. Anyway, uh, that is... What was sent to me by the Dark Flame Wolf. Thank you so much for that. Now I have to throw this stuff away. I'm going to start putting this stuff back into the box for now. Um, I mean, right now it's like 6.30 a.m. So, But I wanted to... I was, I was specifically asked to make the unboxing video and show the stuff off. And I can't wait to actually try some of this out. So, thanks for sending all of this. This is really cool. Like how it says, Elec Sword. Uh, upgrade, function, add an additional one Elec damage to a Net Navi standard attack. 
and it takes 10 upgrade data load, which basically means 10 megabytes. Uh, and it lasts three turns. So if you put it on like Needleman or something, um, Needleman, come on, don't do that. Thank you. Needleman would gain like an additional one elect damage. So I'm assuming if there's uh, a net navy that's like a weak to elect, it would make some sort of impact. I'm going to reread all the rules and read them in a bit more detail. And uh, hopefully I'll get to play this. Like really soon. After SRX probably. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Um, again, thank you so much. Um, yeah, if you want to check out uh, Mega Man Revenge of the Fallen. Awesome, awesome fan game. Very explorative and uh, very detailed. So I would definitely go play it if you haven't. And I will see you guys later. <laughs> I like how little they are. I don't know why, but I like how little they are. Either way, this is freaking awesome. Like, there's the backs of them for the Smash cards. And that's the backs of the Battle Network cards. So. Alright. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Thank you so much again. Uh, the Dark Flame Wolf for sending all that to me. So, take care, everybody.